Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Tutt with Pinata.cloud and we are the easiest way to use IPFS. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a voxel NFT using Magic of Voxel, Pinata, and then putting it on for sale using Rarible, and then also actually putting it on display within your crypto voxels uh, world. So as you can see we are in the crypto voxels metaverse over at 507 Proxima Tower at the Pinata.cloud room. And you can see over here, we actually already have some voxels. However, these voxels are not attached to NFTs. So what I'm going to show you is how to attach those to an NFT and then actually put it on display uh, for sale in your room. So to do that, what you're first going to need to do is actually create a voxel. Uh, and to do that for crypto voxels, you need to use magic voxel. And uh, I'm not going to show you how to actually create a voxel in today's video. However, I have already created a tutorial on how to do that. And you can go check that out if you need to. So uh, I've already created the line pinata voxel, as you can see here. And what I'm going to do is simply export that over here in the bottom right hand corner as a vox. And I'm going to export it as the line pinata.vox and click save. And then the other thing I'm actually going to do is go to the upper left hand corner and go over to render. And I'm going to render a background for this voxel. And I'm just going to simply use a white, a pure white background for the voxel. But you can choose any colors and, and kind of do whatever you need to. Uh, to create an image and the reason you need to create an image is because the platforms such as OpenSea or Rarible or whatever you're using um, for the NFT that this voxel is attached to isn't actually going to display or show the voxel itself it's just going to show an image of it so uh, to create that image uh, just simply take a uh, a photo of it going down here and clicking on that camera and then save that as the line pinata Dot png and then we're going to click save uh, once you've saved that image you can go to pinata.cloud and if you haven't already signed up for an account simply do so and then once you have go to pinata upload and then browse for your vox file and so clicking on the uh, line pinata.vox here will upload that quickly and then click preserve file name right here and then click upload once you've uploaded it, you're going to head over to the Pin Explorer, and you can see that the line pinata.vox has already been uploaded. And then the next thing you're going to do is actually click on this IPFS hash here, and this is going to bring you to an IPFS page, and you'll see this line pinata.vox link here. You're going to want to right click on that and copy the link address. Once you've done that, you're going to head back over to pinata, and you're actually going to click on these three little dots here, and you will be able to see that we have a mint NFT feature click on that and this will actually bring you over to rarible and this is just a minting platform for nfts the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the upload image and choose image so we're going to do that and we're just going to choose that image that we took while in magic voxel now you can see that it's uploaded and then the next thing you do is choose collection for us, we're just going to keep it on Rarible, but you can create your own collection, such as Pinata, the Pinata collection, or whatever you want to call it. And then you're going to actually want to give it a uh, a name as well. And so here quickly, the line Pinata will be its name, and then we're going to give it a description. Now this is important, so you're going to want to say uh, that the link or the voxel itself is going to be unlockable uh, once they purchase the NFT. So uh, we'll just put in something like the uh, voxel will be unlocked as an NF or as an IPFS link once purchased. Actually, I'm going to say the voxel will be unlocked for download as an IPFS. IPFS link once purchased and then you'll scroll on down if you want to put the voxel up for sale right away you can click on that um, and put in a number that you want to sell it for so I'm just gonna say one ETH and then uh, I'm also gonna click on this unlock once purchased and once you do that it's going to give you a little field and this is where you're going to paste that IPFS link 
that we originally downloaded. And then uh, once you have all of that filled in, you can just simply press create. And this will deploy the NFT. You'll need to follow all the wallet instructions. Click confirm. You'll need to sign the sell order. Click sign. Then you'll need to sign the lock order. Click sign. Great. Now it is waiting to confirm on the Ethereum blockchain. Once everything is confirmed, you'll see that it actually shows up here as the line pinata, and you can simply click on that, and you can see it is now for sale. The next thing you'll want to do is actually head over to Crypto Voxels, and we are going to put the item up for sale in our little room here. So to do that, you're going to click on tab, and then you're going to click on NFTs, and you are going to click on Rarible. And then you'll see that it's actually already here, and then you're just gonna drag and drop to wherever you want it in the room, and you'll see it, it pops up right there. So now uh, this voxel is for sale in our crypto voxels room. The Once uh, somebody comes into the room, click on it, and you will see that it is actually for sale on OpenSea. And they can go in and offer an amount. Uh, you could actually view it on uh, OpenSea as well, make an offer, whatever they want to do with it. And so that's how you create a voxel NFT to put on for sale within the Crypto Voxels metaverse or on any of the marketplaces such as OpenSea. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks.